Okay, this is just a, um, a really quick, quick screencast to look at um, maybe drawing a graph that takes into account a break-even price. So what I've done is I've just grabbed a whole lot of prices. This goes down a long way. I've just grabbed prices off of Yahoo Finance, um, the historical ones, and I've ordered them from smallest to largest. So I've got my most earliest date to my last date. Um, and this is the price that I've got them at. This is the uh, this is the price of them. This is ABC Learn. Um, and then I've worked out a break-even price. And then I'm going to say that once my shares get 7% above my break-even price, I'm going to sell them. Okay. And if they drop 2% below my break-even price, I uh, know I'm going to get rid of them as well. So I'm, that's my my kind of regions I'm working within, so that I actually do make my money. So how do we how do we work these things out? Well, all I'm doing is looking at the price. I don't care about the consideration and brokerage, but we can use that formula that allows us to work out the uh, break-even price. So this is the longer formula. There's the other one that's the 1.2 times R um, uh, times by your your purchase price. But I've done the longer one where I've got my dollars B dollars two which is my share price times by bracket 1 plus 1.01 to the 0 2 okay so that's saying I'm going to add 2% to it so my brokerage is 2% and then divided by the 1 take 1 times 1 times 0 2 so that's the longer formula that we've used before and that's that gives you a bit more accurate now notice that I'm using dollars B dollars 2 which means that it's always going to be based on that price Okay, because my break-even price is based on the price that I buy them at, not what price they change through through here. So if you have looked in here, all my prices are changing. But if you have a look at my formula, it is always going to be the same. It's always going to be B2 because that's what I've bought them for. And it's always going to be the same through. And therefore, my break-even price is going to be the same all the way through. It doesn't change. So it's going to be a straight line. Now, for my break-even price at 7%, all I've done is I said, okay, if that's my break-even price, which is C2, I'm going to add 7%. So it's one. 107% increase, so converting that to a decimal is 1.07. Then from there, I'm going to say, okay, if it's a not, if it's a 2% loss, that's 90. It's a 0.98% of what it was, or 98% of what it was when I bought it. So as a decimal, it's 0.98. And so if I was to go C2, which is the my break-even price times by 0.98, it gives me what I need to do. Now to draw a graph, if I highlight all of them and draw a graph for the whole lot, let's see what happens there. Insert line graph. Beautiful. And we get something that looks a bit like that. And you can see, I mean, even though the scale's a bit funny and it's a bit kind of blown up here big on the screen, but you can see that I've got ABC drops down here, but then as soon as I get to here, I've got my break-even price, which is in my red, and then my 7%, which is there. So if I look at this, I've actually got opportunities to make my 7% quite a lot. And also, it gives me these indicators down here of when, oh my goodness, it's dropped a bit low. What are we going to do here? I need to get rid of them. So this is a nice little graph that tells me to when to buy and sell my shares just based on the break.